Hey guys, it's Elizabeth here from Crossing Creek's Farm and just thought I'd share this area with you. Uh, some of y'all may remember that last year, or the year, year before, last year, yeah, last year, we were able to, everything's running together, um, purchase this acreage that's next to us and the back, like third or fourth of it is woods and this was really, really thick overgrown. And so we've come in here and cleared some brush and currently Shane's got all of um, our feeders, feeder steers in this going all the way back to the end of the property while the pasture part he's allowing to rest and hopefully get some grass growth on it and so we're out here just giving these guys some alfalfa um, and it's really kind of cool to see the changes this will be the first spring that this area isn't as heavily wooded um, we're, we still want it to be woods uh, you can still see where it's pretty thick back in here but we did clear a lot of the brush so that um, the sunlight could reach the bottom more and we can actually get growth growing of grass here and so it's really exciting it's probably a little hard for you to see but there is actual um, grass coming through uh, which is great we want to see kind of a um, civil pasture thing happening here and so we're letting these guys put down a lot of manure in this area in this season um, and before we move them back over to pasture where they can graze and then we'll rest this through some of the grass growing season and rotate them back over here uh, once it's growing some but they can go play in the woods right now which they're having fun with and spread their manure out through here which it desperately needs back here it needs all the goodness that comes from their manure so hey guys what's up <laughs> just out here giving them some some treats so that's a little update on all of this that we showed us working on clearing last year just to get to a place where we could utilize it some and we actually got water back here uh, which was huge as we weren't able to use it at all without water and so we were able to fix a lot of the fencing and clear it enough to get fencing up and so I'll spin you around there's still some brush piles here that we've got to finish cleaning up but these guys are just held in with one electric poly wire strand and you can see where they put the water line in all the way from the front of the property that's a water right there uh, winter water that we utilized for this group over here this winter and so it's run all through there so as we're doing give you I thought I'd give you a little update on how it's looking over here it looks totally different than what it did uh, last year when we got our hands on it so excited to see what it can grow this year that's all for today. See y'all later.